Hi. Let's get started. We don't wait anymore. Uh, listening test. Part one, question one to seven. There are seven questions. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Okay. Um, so, how much is the man's ticket? We have the prices. Uh, can someone help me read aloud the prices? Hopeful. Um, 16.5 pounds. Uh, 16.50. Uh, there, there are many ways, but you can say 16 pounds, 50. 15 pounds and uh, 12 pounds, 50 cents. Okay, thank you. Uh, cái, cái, cái hàng ghế ở trong uh, nhà hát đó, cái hàng, cái hàng mình như tiếng Anh là gì ta? A seat row, đúng rồi, seat row. Okay. Thì mình ngồi ở cái ghế mình sẽ thấy được cái, cái, cái khung cảnh, đúng không? Cái, cái khung cảnh mình nhìn thấy cái, cái đó gọi là gì? Cái gì? cái hoàn cảnh hay cái khung cảnh khi mà ngồi ở một cái, cái vị trí ghế nào đó thì mình sẽ thấy được một cái 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 góc nhìn nó khác nhau thì những cái đó gọi là những cái gì anh tiếng anh gọi là gì tiếng anh là gọi là gì ai biết who knows gọi là view view quen không view Rồi. What will they have for lunch? What will they have for lunch? Let's see what we have here. Uh, what is this? What are they? Chips, right? Chips, good. What about this? What is this? Huh, what is this? This is? What is it? Cái này là gì vậy? Đắc trung. Đắc trung. Egg, okay, egg, okay. Right. How about this? Cái này là gì? Cái này là gì vậy? Uh, ăn? Hmm. Nó là gì ăn? Ngọc Ánh im ra lâu. À. Galaxy A31. Cái này để cho... Xúc tích cái thầy. Mà okay. không biết nói tiếng Việt, tiếng Anh. Ok. À, hot dog, đúng rồi. Không phải, đó là bánh mì kẹp thịt. Xúc xích nó là sausage. Sausage. Rồi, à, à, đúng rồi, đắt trung đúng rồi đó. Số nhiều thì he met vô sausages. Sausages, right. Uh, fish. No, này là fish. Gail, gail. <laughs> right. Why was the man late home? Why was the man late home? Sao ông này ông về nhà trễ gì? Cái này giống như là gì vậy? Accident, right. Accident, uh, uh, lorry accident, đúng không? Xe tải bị tai nạn. Rồi cái này là a drink, a drink. À, và cái này là bus, đúng không? Hoặc là coach. Rồi, um, 
cái đường cái đường giống như cái đường này đường cao tốc này tiếng anh là gì ta hai quay hai quay thực ra hai quay nó là tiếng mỹ tiếng anh mỹ á còn anh anh người ta sẽ dùng freeway hoặc là motorway ok rồi à, cái cuộc đình công á cái cuộc bình đình công hay biểu tình đó tiếng anh là gì đình công hay biểu tình đó là gì thành công hay là biểu tình nó là gì strike được không strike ừ, đúng rồi Đại chi đúng rồi strike rồi right. what was the weather like on John's holiday cái này là gì cái này á Cloudy, cloudy có mây, cloudy đúng rồi, đắt trung đúng rồi. À, còn cái hành bi là cái gì? Rain, rainy hoặc là rain, ok. Hình C. Snowy, right. Snowy hoặc là snow đúng không? Rồi, snow. Nhưng mà nếu mà có snow, If if there, there if there is snow, how how will the weather be? How will the weather be if it's snow? The weather will be cold, or it will be freezing cold. Okay, it will be cold or freezing cold. See. Now, what time was the uh, the woman's appointment? What time was the woman's appointment? 9.40, 10, 10, half past 10. Cái A này nó còn một cái chắc nói giờ kém nữa, nói sao vậy anh? She doesn't know. Miyan không ba không. Chưa không được luôn. Twenty to ten hôm nay. Twenty to ten, very nice. Good. Now, what did the woman buy? Uh, what did the woman buy? Trời, hỏi là sao rồi trời? Cái giờ này mà giờ đọc theo kiểu giờ kém á, là có phải là 20 giờ, giờ 10 giờ kém 20 không? Như vậy tiếng Anh nó sẽ là 20 to 10. Understand? Rồi, what did the woman buy? Uh, ở đây mình có gì đây? Cái hình A là cái máy nghe nhạc đúng không? Cái máy này ngày xưa là đeo trên người rồi nghe đi tung tăng cái này nổi tiếng luôn là Walkman nhớ không cái hiệu á cái hiệu Walkman đó, Sony Walkman đó thời xưa đó. rồi cái hộp này là hộp gì chocolate đúng không chocolates còn cái chai này là gì vậy? Perfume, nước hoa, perfume. Còn cái 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 hai cái này là gì? Cái uh, khăn choàng, có hẳn là khăn choàng mà cái khăn nhỏ nhỏ để hoàng là tiếng Anh nó là gì? Scarf, scarf. Mà nếu như nó được làm bằng lụa thì có phải nó là mình thêm tính từ vô nó trở thành là silk scarf. No, silk scarf.
Now, where are the men and the women talking? Hai người này đang nói chuyện ở đâu? A là in, in the stadium, in a football match. Trong một cái trận đấu đá banh trong sân vận động nè. B là in the in the library, thư viện nè. Library. And C là ở đâu? In the classroom ha. Trong lớp học đúng không? The professor hay là the teacher is teaching giáo viên hoặc là ông giáo sư đang dạy rồi. So now listen and check. This is the Cambridge Preliminary English Test. Nice, something's wrong with the audio. I'll find another one for you. This is the Cambridge Preliminary English Test, number two. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. You will have six minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Before we start, here is an example. What's the time? Have you got the time? Yes, it's 20 past three. The first picture is correct, so there is a tick in box A. Look at the three pictures for question one now. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. How much is the man's ticket? Can you tell me how much a ticket is for Saturday's performance of Macbeth? The front stalls and the circle are the most expensive at £16.50. The middle seats in the stalls cost £15 and the back three rows cost £12.50, but the view isn't so good. All seats are £10 for students. I'll have one in the middle, please. I'm not a student. I've got my credit card here. Now listen again. Can you tell me how much a ticket is for Saturday's performance of Macbeth? The front stalls and the circle are the most expensive at £16.50. The middle seats in the stalls cost £15 and the back three rows cost £12.50, but the view isn't so good. All seats are £10 for students. I'll have one in the middle, please. I'm not a student. I've got my credit card here. Two. What will they have for lunch? It's chips for lunch. What would you like with them? Not fish again, please. And we had chicken last night. 
Well, we've got plenty of sausages, but we've finished the eggs, I'm afraid. That's decided, then. Now listen again. It's chips for lunch. What would you like with them? Not fish again, please. And we had chicken last night. Well, we've got plenty of sausages, but we've finished the eggs, I'm afraid. That's decided, then. Three. Why was the man late home? Hi. Have you had a busy day at the office? Yes. Sorry I'm late. I didn't get the bus because Pete offered me a lift. We didn't realise the motorway was closed because of a lorry accident, so it took much longer than normal. I'll be even later tomorrow with the train strike. Now listen again. Hi. Have you had a busy day at the office? Yes. Sorry I'm late. I didn't get the bus because Pete offered me a lift. We didn't realise the motorway was closed because of a lorry accident, so it took much longer than normal. I'll be even later tomorrow with the train strike. Four. What was the weather like on John's holiday? How was your holiday, John? We had a good time, but the weather was awful. We didn't have one sunny day. Oh, dear. A week in the rain. Poor you. Well, that's the funny thing. It never actually rained. It was just freezing cold and cloudy. We thought it might even snow. Now listen again. How was your holiday, John? We had a good time, but the weather was awful. We didn't have one sunny day. Oh, dear. A week in the rain. Poor you. Well, that's the funny thing. It never actually rained. It was just freezing cold and cloudy. We thought it might even snow. Five. What time was the woman's appointment? Oh, I've had an awful morning. I was really late for my hospital appointment. I just missed the nine o'clock bus, and the next one didn't come until twenty to ten. I was supposed to see the doctor at ten past ten, but I didn't arrive until half past. He wasn't very pleased. Now listen again. Oh, I've had an awful morning. I was really late for my hospital appointment. I just missed the nine o'clock bus. And the next one didn't come until twenty to ten. I was supposed to see the doctor at ten past ten, but I didn't arrive until half past. He wasn't very pleased. Six. What did the woman buy? Did you get anything from the duty-free shop? Well, I really wanted some of that perfume I bought last time, and I got a large bottle. Then I looked for the Walkman I'd promised I'd get for Tony. Fortunately, they'd sold all of them, so I had enough money for a lovely silk scarf for myself. I completely forgot about the chocolates I was supposed to get for Mary. Now listen again. Did you get anything from the duty-free shop? Well, I really wanted some of that perfume I bought last time, and I got a large bottle. Then I looked for the Walkman I'd promised I'd get for Tony. Fortunately, they'd sold all of them, so I had enough money for a lovely silk scarf for myself. I completely forgot about the chocolates I was supposed to get for Mary. Seven. Where are the man and the woman talking? It's a bit crowded, isn't it? Worse than a football match. Can you see well enough from here? It doesn't matter. As long as I can hear and get down the important points of what he says, it's OK. I'm going to the library after this. I want to get this report finished so that I can go to the cinema. Now listen again. It's a bit crowded, isn't it? 
worse than a football match. Can you see well enough from here? It doesn't matter. As long as I can hear and get down the important points of what he says, it's OK. I'm going to the library after this. I want to get this report finished so that I can go to the cinema. That is the end of part one. Now turn to part 2, questions 8 to 13. You will hear a woman called Sarah talking to a group of people about her painting. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part 2. Right, go so time now. How does how often does Sarah paint now? Cô này có vẽ thường xuyên như thế nào? Three days a week, five days a week, every evening. Number nine, Sarah earns enough money from her painting. Kiếm đủ tiền từ việc vẽ tranh đến chi nào? Give up her computing job. Cô này nghĩ là gì em yêu? Dạ, từ bỏ cái uh, công việc uh, gì đó thầy? Công việc làm máy tính. Pay for her flat and car. Có nghĩa là thanh tán tiền căn hộ và tiền xe. Pay for her artist's materials. Trả tiền cho cái những cái uh, nguyên vật liệu để mà làm nghệ sĩ, làm họa sĩ á. Thì họa sĩ là mình gồm có, phải có cái gì, cái gì ta? Mua cái gì? Làm họa sĩ thì phải mua cái gì? Ai biết? Đố biết ai? Làm họa sĩ phải mua cái gì vậy? Đố biết ai? Đố biết ai đâu mất tiêu rồi Yêu không bật mất luôn Dạ thầy là Mua cỏ vẽ Mua màu Mua Mua, mua cái đồ vẽ tranh Cỏ vẽ ta? Cỏ vẽ là gì ta Cỏ vẽ, cỏ vẽ là gì à. Chính đó anh gửi cả paint brush như là là ngắn gọn thôi brush rồi rồi gì nữa paint đúng không hay là gì đó paper hay gì đó glue rồi colors các kiểu different kind of colors các thể loại màu đúng không drawing paper giấy vẽ luôn rồi when she was at primary school Sarah painted pictures of people. Vẽ hình người, learned to use chalk, học cách dùng phấn, và drew scenes in pencil, vẽ tranh bằng bút chì. What pleased Sarah most about her painting holidays? 
meeting other artists đó là khi mà đi gọi là painting holiday nghĩa là những cái kỳ nghỉ mà để đi tô đi vẽ đi sơn á thì sao cô nên làm gì meet other artists hay là seeing beautiful scenery xem cảnh đẹp hay là receiving individual teaching được dạy dỗ riêng dạy, dạy kèm individual teaching là dạy cá nhân tức là dạy kèm which of these has Sarah done những cái điều gì cô này đã làm painted people in Greece vẽ người ở Greece painted sunrises in Scotland sunrise là gì ta sunrise là gì bình minh đúng rồi watch birds in Spain ngắm chim ở Tây Ban Nha câu 13 after watching Sarah's video the audience will fill in the questionnaire about the talk là sau khi nghe câu này nói là coi cái clip của cô này thì khán giả sẽ làm gì điền bản câu học Look round an art exhibition là đi ngắm xung quanh cái cuộc trển là triển lãm. Have a break and a drink nghỉ ngơi uống nước. Rồi. Now let's listen. Let's listen and uh, find out. Listen and put a tick in the correct box. Okay. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Yes. Well, good evening, everyone. I've um, come along to talk to you about my painting. It was just a hobby, but it's really more than that now. I used to paint in the evenings after work, but now I work four days a week instead of five. That means I spend Friday, Saturday and Sunday on my painting. I have pictures in local exhibitions at least once a month. I'd love to give up my job and spend all my time painting, but I work with computers and I earn more that way. I do make some money from selling my pictures, enough to pay for all my paint, brushes and paper and a few art lessons. I'd love to go to art college full time for three years, but I've got all the rent on my flat to pay and a car to run. I first became interested in art when I was at primary school. I used to go out with some paper and a few pencils during break time and draw anything I saw. Houses, gardens, people. Then at secondary school, we had art classes twice a week. And I learned how to use chalk, and then different kinds of paint, watercolours, oils and so on. Those classes were really useful for me, and ever since then I've had lessons of some kind. I've attended evening classes and been on what they call painting holidays, where you go out into the countryside and paint during the day, and then sit and discuss your work with a teacher and the other artists after dinner. Those holidays are great. You learn so much talking to other people studying with you. I've enjoyed painting in lots of different countries. I've been to Morocco and painted desert scenes with beautiful sunrises. I've been to Greece and Spain and painted pictures of the local people working in the fields near their homes. My favourite place is still Scotland. I love walking in the Scottish mountains, and there are so many different birds to see, especially in spring. Well, I'm going to finish now by showing you a video of the places I've visited. After that, there'll be a chance to relax with a cup of coffee, and then there'll be time for some questions. Oh, and I've got some information about my next art exhibition for you. 
It's going to be at the Queen's Gallery. Now, if someone would turn off the lights, then I can... Now listen again. Well, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> I've um, come along to talk to you about my painting. It was just a hobby, but it's really more than that now. I used to paint in the evenings after work, but now I work four days a week instead of five. That means I spend Friday, Saturday and Sunday on my painting. I have pictures in local exhibitions at least once a month. I'd love to give up my job and spend all my time painting, but I work with computers and I earn more that way. I do make some money from selling my pictures, enough to pay for all my paint, brushes and paper, and a few art lessons. I'd love to go to art college full time for three years, but I've got all the rent on my flat to pay and a car to run. I first became interested in art when I was at primary school. I used to go out with some paper and a few pencils during break time and draw anything I saw. Houses, gardens, people. Then at secondary school we had art classes twice a week and I learnt how to use chalk and then different kinds of paint watercolours, oils and so on. Those classes were really useful for me and ever since then I've had lessons of some kind. I've attended evening classes and been on what they call painting holidays where you go out into the countryside and paint during the day and then sit and discuss your work with a teacher and the other artists after dinner. Those holidays are great you learn so much talking to other people studying with you. I've enjoyed painting in lots of different countries. I've been to Morocco and painted desert scenes with beautiful sunrises. I've been to Greece and Spain and painted pictures of the local people working in the fields near their homes. My favourite place is still Scotland. I love walking in the Scottish mountains, and there are so many different birds to see, especially in spring. Well, I'm going to finish now by showing you a video of the places I've visited. After that, there'll be a chance to relax with a cup of coffee, and then there'll be time for some questions. Oh, and I've got some information about my next art exhibition for you. It's going to be at the Queen's Gallery. Now, if someone would turn off the lights, then I can... That is the end of part... ...fourteen to nineteen. You will hear... Right. Question 14 to 19. You will hear a radio program giving you information about the city of Glasgow. Không tin về thành phố Glasgow ha. Thì đây, các bạn không tin đây. Arrival by car. Nếu mà đi bằng xe hơi thì sao? City center park car parts are the car at hotel. Như vậy sau cái bi này thường nó sẽ là một tính từ Rồi coi những cái trung tâm, những cái co bãi đầu xe, xe ở trung tâm thành phố nó như thế nào Để xe lại hôm sau Discovering Glasgow tour bus Cái xe biết tham quan thì sao Departs from George every 30 minutes Khởi hành từ chỗ này, mỗi 30 phút Thì có thể là cái số 15 này nó sẽ là danh Danh từ về một cái thể loại công trình nào đó có thể là chợ, có thể là siêu thị, có thể là quảng trường, có thể là ngã tư hay là cái gì đó. Rồi. Buy tickets from. Mua vé từ đâu? Buy tickets from. Walking. Go to Welcome Center for information. Đến trung tâm Welcome để lấy thông tin free gì đó, available. Vậy sẽ có cái free gì? Cái gì free? 
places to visit. Glasgow Cathedral, built in 15th century. Nhà thờ này, xây vào thế kỷ 10 tháng. Merchant city area, shops selling and clothes. Những cái shop bán cái gì và clothes. Rồi. Buyers Road, student area. Botanic gardens, glass houses, clothes at. Nhà shop này bán cái gì ha? Và glass houses, đóng cửa nút mấy giờ? Thường là cái app sau cái app này là một cái giờ. Rồi nào, listen and uh, find out. Now turn to part 3. Questions 14 to 19. Carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Well, good morning. This week's program is about the city of Glasgow. We're going to give you some ideas of what you can see and do if you visit for a weekend. Glasgow is Britain's third largest city and Scotland's biggest. It's well worth a visit. If you arrive by car, the motorway will take you into the city centre. Don't park in one of the city centre car parks, however, as they're expensive. It's better to leave your car at your hotel or somewhere away from the centre and take the bus. Glasgow is a large city and there's an excellent public transport system. A good idea is to catch a Discovering Glasgow tour bus, which leaves George Square every half hour. You can get off anywhere and catch the next bus to continue your trip. The tour costs five pounds and tickets are available from the bus driver. If you want to walk around the city centre, then it's best to start at the Welcome Centre on St Vincent Place. You can get information about opening times and entrance fees of places to visit and take a free map to help you with your sightseeing. Don't miss the 15th century cathedral, which has particularly beautiful windows. Further on is the Merchant City area, where there are cafes and lots of small fashionable shops which sell jewellery and clothes. Byers Road is popular with university students, and you can find a lot of bargains in the shops around there. The Botanic Gardens are also worth a visit. The gardens are open until sunset, and the glass houses from ten o'clock until a quarter to five. These contain a wide variety of beautiful plants and flowers. The gardens are also a good place to have a picnic. Well, that's all from me for this week. Now listen again. Well, good morning. This week's program is about the city of Glasgow. We're going to give you some ideas of what you can see and do if you visit for a weekend. Glasgow is Britain's third largest city and Scotland's biggest. It's well worth a visit. If you arrive by car, the motorway will take you into the city centre. Don't park in one of the city centre car parks, however, as they're expensive. It's better to leave your car at your hotel or somewhere away from the centre and take the bus. Glasgow is a large city and there's an excellent public transport system. A good idea is to catch a Discovering Glasgow tour bus, which leaves George Square every half hour. You can get off anywhere and catch the next bus to continue your trip. The tour costs five pounds and tickets are available from the bus driver. If you want to walk around the city centre, then it's best to start at the Welcome Centre on St Vincent Place. You can get information about opening times and entrance fees of places to visit and take a free map to help you with your sightseeing. Don't miss the 15th century cathedral, which has particularly beautiful windows. Further on is the Merchant City area, where there are cafes and lots of small fashionable shops which sell jewellery and clothes. Byers Road is popular with university students, and you can find a lot of bargains in the shops around there. The Botanic Gardens are also worth a visit. The gardens are open until sunset, and the glass houses from ten o'clock until a quarter to five. These contain a wide variety of beautiful plants and flowers. The gardens are also a good place to have a picnic. Well, that's all from me for this week. That is the end of part th three.
Now turn to part four. Question 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a boy, Frank, and a girl, Linda, in a music shop. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. L Linda wants to change a cassette because she dislikes it. Cô này muốn đổi băng cassette bởi vì dislike, không thích đúng không? Rồi. Linda already knows what she wants to get. Đã, đã biết là cô ấy muốn, muốn lấy cái gì, muốn mua cái gì, muốn đổi cái gì rồi. Uh, Frank recommends a famous band, giới thiệu một cái band nhạc nổi tiếng. Linda is happy with her cassette player. Rất vui với cái cassette player của cô ta. Linda thinks the price of the cassette is reasonable. Cô này nghĩ là cái giá cassette thì reasonable, hợp lý. Linda has already seen the Irish band. Đã gặp được cái ban nhạc người Irish. Cái chữ ban này là ban nhạc. Ha? Rồi. Uh, famous. Ngoài cái chữ famous ra mình còn cái từ nào mà đồng nghĩa với chữ famous không ta? Đồng nghĩa với chữ famous. Bạn nào biết? Có mấy chữ nữa. Mình chỉ cần một hai chữ thôi. Famous. Well known. Đúng rồi. Well known. Well known. Rồi giảm giá. Giảm giá đặc biệt. Trong tiếng Anh mình cái cụm từ mà giảm giá đặc biệt đó, mình có thể dùng cái cụm từ. Giảm giá đặc biệt mình có thể dùng cái cụm từ. Hà Chi Hà Chi có đó không? Special discount Special discount cũng được Đúng rồi đó Còn nếu khác xíu thì mình sẽ chỉnh lại cái chữ là Special discount hoặc là special gì Special offer, uh, special offer. Rồi. Um, một cái cụm nữa là, uh, ví dụ như bây giờ muốn nói thì muốn nói là có một cái cuộc buổi hòa nhạc trong uh, sân vận động thể thao tuần tới thì nói sao? sẽ có một cái buổi hòa nhạc ở trong sân vận động thể thao và tuần tới. Con này sao đây? Đây đạt được. Đắc trung. Đắc trung đạt được không? There's a concert taking place in the stadium. Hoặc là không cần taking place sẽ bỏ gì luôn. There's a concert in the stadium, you know, next week. Oh, next week, tuần tới. There's a concert in the stadium next week. Rồi. Uh, what word that has the same meaning as the word bad? Can you give me some other words for the word bad? Mày có thể nào cho em một, xin một vài, một hai chữ mà nó gần nghĩa với chữ bad, được không? Uhm. Đúng rồi, bad, bad, đồng nghĩa với nó là gần có chữ gì đây? Awful, uhm. awful. Hoặc là terrible, đúng không? Rồi. Awful hoặc là terrible. Rồi, let's listen. Listen and uh, uh, tick in the box. Ok.
Now turn to part four. Questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a boy, Frank, and a girl, Linda, in a music shop. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. So where do you want to go first, Linda? Uh, let's go in here. I want to see what they've got. It was my birthday last week, and Mum gave me some cassettes. They're really great, but I've already got one of them, so I want to change it for something else. I love this shop. There's always so much to choose from. What are you going to get? I'm not sure. I thought I'd just have a look around and see if there's anything I like the look of. I want something different. I'm a bit bored with all the music I normally listen to. Can you suggest anything? Well, you don't usually like the sort of music I listen to. What about this band? Hmm, who are they? I've never heard of them. They're a new band from America. They're not very well known yet, but you wait and see. In another couple of years, they'll be really famous. Mm, let me have a look. Can you find it on cassette for me? I haven't got a CD player. The sound's much better on a CD. You should get one. Well, there's no point for me. My cassette player's really good quality, so it wouldn't make any difference. Besides, CDs cost a lot more than cassettes. Here you are. I found it on cassette. Oh, look, it's on special offer. That's really cheap, isn't it? I'll take it. There's something else we could get while we're here. What's that? Well, there's a concert in the sports stadium next week. There's a new Irish band playing. You might like them. So, would you like to come with me? Oh, that sounds great. I hope I do like them. The last band you took me to see was awful. This one is different. I'll go and buy some tickets then, shall I? All right, then. Now listen again. So where do you want to go first, Linda? Uh, let's go in here. I want to see what they've got. It was my birthday last week, and Mum gave me some cassettes. They're really great, but I've already got one of them, so I want to change it for something else. I love this shop. There's always so much to choose from. What are you going to get? I'm not sure. I thought I'd just have a look around and see if there's anything I like the look of. I want something different. I'm a bit bored with all the music I normally listen to. Can you suggest anything? Well, you don't usually like the sort of music I listen to. What about this band? Hmm, who are they? I've never heard of them. They're a new band from America. They're not very well known yet, but you wait and see. In another couple of years, they'll be really famous. Hmm, let me have a look. Can you find it on cassette for me? I haven't got a CD player. The sound's much better on a CD. You should get one. Well, there's no point for me. My cassette player's really good quality, so it wouldn't make any difference. Besides, CDs cost a lot more than cassettes. Here you are. I found it on cassette. Oh, look, it's on special offer. That's really cheap, isn't it? I'll take it. There's something else we could get while we're here. What's that? Well, there's a concert in the sports stadium next week. There's a new Irish band playing. You might like them. So, would you like to come with me? Oh, that sounds great. I hope I do like them. The last band you took me to see was awful. This one is different. I'll go and buy some tickets then, shall I? All right, then. That is the end of part four.
You now have six minutes to check and copy your answers onto the answer sheet. That is the end of the test. All right, let me show you the, the answers. Let's see how many correct answers that you got. Okay, here is the answer. So, how many correct answers did you got, did you get? 